So to celebrate the highly anticipated new 007 film, we reunited the six Bonds, well, in wax figure form anyway. And here with us now to tell us more, our principal sculptor at Madame de Swords, Stephen Mansfield, and Bond expert, Professor James Chapman. Uh, welcome. Welcome. All. Thank um, you. Stephen, they are fantastic. They're, they're brilliant. Thank you. Right up close, even up close. Uh, Timothy Dalton's still freaking me out because he keeps, <laughs> keeps looking at us. Um, how long does it take and how many people to, to complete each one? Oh, there's a huge team of people involved in, in all of the various processes, the sculptors, colourists, moulders, um, people who look after the costumes. It's up to 100 craftspeople working on them. And the wow. figures take about three or four months to make. They're, they are... Remarkably lifelike, as we've said, Thank but uh, is it only George Lazenby that you had his... He came in and, uh, and, and, and you had his, his personal... He was there for you. Yeah, we've had sittings, actually, with um, Daniel Craig, Pierce Brosnan and George Lazenby, in, uh, but in, for this very recent collection, um, we met um, George Lazenby in America and did a sitting with him there and then we were able to backdate his figure so that he looks like he does in, in and the have Bond they film. And have they all seen the final results? Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing. I, I, I know that the film company will have seen them and, yeah. and the producer, Barbara Broccoli. I was very briefly a Madame Tussauds model. Were you? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and what, um, what freaked me out was when you go in, because I said, right, OK, well, I, I, I would love to come in. Mm. Um, I want to see the whole process. And uh, they said, right, OK, well, we're going to put you in cowboy boots. We're big at the time. We put you in cowboy <laughs> boots, uh, so that'll give you your height. But yeah. can you just wear shorts That's right, and yep. the cowboy boots? Yep. Yeah. And then um, I stood on a, on a, on a turntable yeah. the on the floor with cameras all around yeah. me, and I stood there in just shorts and cowboy boots, going round bit by bit, by bit right. by bit, and I thought, ah, yep. oh, I'm being wound up. No, I mean, ev everybody um, we ask uh, tends to do the Even same. Even Bond. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean... Uh, I if, can't if see the Queen doing that. No, 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 <laughs> but if someone's wearing a, 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 an outfit and you... And, it's fairly clear the shape of them underneath. That's fine. But if someone's game enough to, to do it, it helps us. It's it does. Uh, makes better. it more yeah. realistic. Yeah. Uh, and, James, what is it about Bond that, that makes him, him so iconic? Well, I mean, he's the archetypal British gentleman yeah. hero, isn't he? We stand here with these you know, remarkably lifelike uh, waxworks. And, and did they uh, each have their own unique thing that uh, they uh, bought? The each Bond is, uh, is, is unique, but they also represent the same character, the same yeah. archetype, so they're recurring. <laughs>